Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Telia. We're going to be making crab cakes. You'll find all ingredients in the description box throughout the video as well. So I have here in my bowl two eggs. And I'm going to add to the eggs two and a half tablespoons of mayonnaise. Quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. I'm going to add one teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning. I'm going to be using a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, one and a half teaspoons of mustard. Use whatever type of mustard you desire. I'm using honey mustard. I have two teaspoons of fresh parsley, quarter cup of diced celery. Give everything a mix. After giving everything a mix, set it aside. Now for the crab meat, I'm going to be using imitation crab meat, but you can use real crab meat as well. So we're going to have one pound of crab meat. Now, you can use lump crab meat, but I'm using uh, the imitation crab sticks. So what I'm going to do is just break it up. Now you can break this up with your hand if desired if you're using imitation crab sticks, or I'm going to just use my little pastry cutter, because this will get the job done. You can use a couple of knives or the tines up a fork and after I just press it through I just pull it back through. So after you get all your meat chopped up we're going to add our sauce back to it or our egg. We can call it our binder really. So we're going to add our binder back to this. We're going to mix everything together and then I'm going to add to this a half a cup of panko breadcrumbs. Now you don't have to use panko breadcrumbs. You can use any type of breadcrumbs. You can use the cracker crumbs. You can take croutons and uh, grind them down fine. If you're going to use croutons, just of course you need to leave out the salt because the croutons will have the salt in it. So I'm just mixing so everything is thoroughly combined. So this will make about six crab cakes, I believe. So I'm going to use my half a cup measure here to scoop out some of that mixture. Half a cup. Okay. I'm going to shake it out. Place it in my hand to just sort of shape it. Okay, we got it shaped. And I'm going to place it onto a baking tray that I've lined with plastic wrap. So I'm just going to do that with all of the filling. After you've shaped all your crab cakes, you will need to place the pan in the refrigerator. I'm going to cover it with another sheet of plastic wrap and allow it to sit in the fridge for about an hour. Now you put this in the fridge because it needs to sit to sort of firm up a bit. If you go to fry them now, they're going to fall apart. My crab cakes sat in the fridge for about an hour and 10 minutes and they are nice and firm. So I'm going to reshape them a bit and I'm heating here in my large skillet six tablespoons of canola oil. I'm using a high smoking oil. So I am just reshaping them a bit, pressing it together, neaten up the edges. I'm going to place it into my pan and we're going to cook it for four to five minutes on both sides at medium to medium high heat. So my crab cakes have been going for about five minutes and I've been working on the medium low heat and um, I'm just going to press it down slightly just to flatten it. So I'm going to cook these again for another about four to five minutes. So I'm working on medium low to medium high heat. I'm just keeping the heat at a neutral temperature. So this has been going for about another five minutes. They're nice and golden brown on both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it from the pan and place it into a wire rack to allow them to drain. So here's the final of my crab cakes. Now I won't be giving these a taste test since I'm not a fan of them, but believe me, I've been told that these are very delicious. Now if you want to give it, hit it with a little bit of lemon juice before you take them out the pan, that's fine. Um, some people don't like lemon on there straight out of the pan. They'd rather put it on themselves. So please try this recipe. Let me know how it turns out. I promise you it's very delicious. And please remember to live and be well. And let's come together and love each other. Thanks for watching.